please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Now, bow your heads for a moment of silence. Rockets, love it. We, we are, are the Rockets, dedicated and motivated to be educated. We are today. To be better than the one before. If I win, you win. And together, like Rockets, we soar. Rockets, love it, love it. Rockets. Wake up, Rocket Scholars. I'm Dr. Quentin T. Ross, Jr., the 15th president of the Alabama State University. Have a wonderful day. A-S, 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 you. You. Hey, good morning, Team South Lawn, and big shout out to Dr. Quentin T. Ross, and Alabama State University Hornets. We got Hornet fever this morning. We're crunk up and we're ready to take off and soar like rockets. So thank you for logging in. We got a few announcements for you. We're not going to hold you too long, but just dig in and listen to what we got. And the first thing that we got today is to talk about us returning face to face. That's right. Right now you're looking at the video, you're at home. But tomorrow, when you return, we all are required to become, come here face to face, meaning we will no longer do the virtual option. However, you still will be responsible for doing your work in Google Classroom or in Schoology, depending on which platform your teacher provides for you. Okay, but one thing we do need to understand, students and parents, we are required to come face to face, just like we are, are required to do during a traditional time and, you know, a non-pandemic time, if that makes sense. But we are required to show up face to face. However, students and parents, if you are quarantined, if you are quarantined and you have to go home, you still will be responsible for logging in to your classes as if you were face to face. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions, please call the school and we can clear all that information up for you. Ms. Tay. Thank you, Dr. Muhammad. Um, progress report. Progress reports go home this Thursday. Make sure that if you're missing any assignments, you get with your teachers so that you can make up those assignments. Also, when you get your progress reports on Thursday, if you look at your grade and it's a grade that you're not happy with, you still have time to go back and complete those assignments that you may have missed by the time report cards come out. So show some self-discipline and make sure that you look over your grades and make sure that they are um, satisfactory grades. Mr. Carson. Thank you, Ms. Tate. Uh, as we talked about moving into a more virtual world and uh, as Doc uh, discussed with us earlier, uh, it's important to uh, have Chromebook care. You have to take care of your Chromebook. And here's some tips uh, about taking care of that Chromebook throughout this school year. Number one, keep your Chromebook on a flat surface like a table or desk and don't pile things on top of it. Also, handle with care. Don't play around, don't throw it in the air. As Ms. Tate re referenced last week, don't slide around the room on it. 
Uh, also, don't eat or drink around your Chromebook. We don't want a spill or a sticky keyboard. Also, keep charged and also take care of your charger. Don't snatch it out of the socket as well. But those are some tips to keep our, our Chromebook uh, in working order throughout this school year. How you doing, guys? Mark Ware Summers, educator, uh, college NCAA official. Let's wake up, South Run. Not just wake up. Let's be prepared for the challenge that are ahead. Like I'm going to be when I officiate this game. Wake up. All right, students, keep in mind, we are using Blooms. It is our central communication application. I know you got Facebook. I know you got Twitter. But we're using Blooms, B-L-O-O-M-Z. And you need to, if you haven't already done so, join the South Lawn Middle School Rocket Happenings team. We're out there in the cyber world. We're there to not only answer questions, but to provide you information that's essential to the mission and vision of South Lawn Middle School. Ms. Tate. Thank you, Dr. Muhammad. Um, this week, you will get a handout that has your parents' update information, their login, username, and password. It is very important important that your parent goes to the update registration site or portal and update your information. Um, if you have a new address, your parent needs to reach out to the school so that he or she can bring in that proof of residency. So once you get these papers this week, make sure that you give it to your parent. It is not for you, it is for your parent so that they can update your information on the portal. Mr. Kirkland. Students, South Lund Middle School will start our extended day program, which is called RAMP, on Monday, September 20th. This program will be an extension of our intervention and grade recovery. It will run from three to five, Monday through Thursday. Teachers will be here to assist in grade recovery and enrichment on week standards. Forms will be sent out next week, so please bring those back. We will definitely need you all to be part of this program. And the very best of teachers are the ones who live their creed. For to see good put into action is what everybody needs. That's right, gang. We are about to do our teacher feature segment. We're going to highlight one of our new and upcoming teachers, uh, Miss Alexis Carr. So we're going to go ahead and bring her in. Hey, Miss Carr, how you doing? Good, how are you? Great, great, great. Glad you took the time to hang out with us uh, up here in the cyber world. Thanks for having me. Oh yeah, we don't mind uh, having you. Uh, we're gonna excuse that flag in the background. And no, we we're hot. Uh, we're gonna deal with you, you know, as you are. All right. I appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. Well, um, if you will, if you don't mind, we're gonna ask you a few questions just to kind of get, get the students to know you a little bit. Yes, sir. Right. Hello, Ms. Carr. I'm Ms. Saint. So, um, this is your first year teaching, right? Correct. So, what what is it that um, led you to the field of education? Why did um, you choose to become a teacher? Well, when I was in like elementary school, I wanted to be an artist and my mom was like, that's not really a realistic job. So I said, okay, I'll be an art teacher. And just from elementary up into high school, it transitioned to actual teaching. So I decided to pursue um, special ed or general ed teaching and see which subject I would find. And after college, I decided um, just to teach whichever subject I felt most comfortable with, which ended up being English. Okay. Um, very good answer and reference to, you know, your mother told you that art was not a, you know, a, a good choice in, you know, the field and you chose something that works for you, which is education. You put the two together. Hey, Mr. how you doing, Miss Carr? Good, how are you? I'm great, great. Next question I have for you. Uh, could you tell me a little bit, since you chose uh, English, can you tell me a little bit about the subject that you teach, uh, your curriculum and uh, the grade level? Um, well, I teach sixth grade English here at South Lawn. Um, basically, 
my curriculum is set up to be able to enhance some of the basic English skills. So my goal is to focus on um, grammatical errors, um, writing styles, being able to have my students express themselves orally, you know, get them exposed to novel studies, poetry, short stories, getting them well-versed in all of the things in English language arts. That way they can go on and excel in like their ACAP or um, even possibly take an interest in being an English teacher when they get older. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, we definitely want to uh, make sure they're excelling when it comes to their studies in English and being able to take that and translate that into something, you know, something uh, beautiful when it comes to the ACAP and also possibly become an English teacher themselves. So that, that's awesome. Very proud of that. Thank you. Yes, definitely. I, I think that's great. You wanted to be an artist and at the same time you were able to combine it with the world of English language arts. So you're still doing a little of what you want to do and, and, and helping our students be the best that they can be. And if you would, could you just give them a uh, word of uh, a positive or an encouraging word, you know, to encourage them during this time? Um, even though this doesn't look like a normal school year, it's still it's still school. You know, you all are getting exposed to technology, things that I didn't get exposed to until I was older and things that I struggled with. So you all are already ahead of the curve. Y'all are killing it and knocking it out. So just continue to stay persistent and soak up all of these new teaching styles because it'll something that is going to de definitely benefit you when you get older. All right, all right, that's awesome. That's awesome. Take heed and take notes, kids. That's very, very important. But we appreciate you hanging out with us. And I know you're in between classes, so we gotta let you get back to work and helping our kids be the best that they can be. But as usual, when we say, Bye, kids. Bye, kids. You say, Love it. Hey, all right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, Miss Carr, again. You're welcome. Yo, what's up, self Line? It's that Boogie here. I'm a local performer, local artist, engineer, producer, and I'm just here to tell y'all to, man, get the crust out your eyes. It's time to grind. It's time to put in that work, man, so y'all get into y'all classes, man, and just be the best you you can ever be. You know what I'm saying? This is what we go to school for. We come to learn, and we come to prosper, man. So let's do it, guys. I believe in y'all, and uh, until next time, peace out. All right, and we're back. We're back and we're ready to give the shout outs to our Rocket Scholars. Woo, 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 woo. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. Glad you guys are out there making noise and doing it the Rocket way. That's what we need. Big salute once again. And today we're starting out with the young eighth grader, Miss Shania Ford. Ford, Ford, Ford. Next we have Michael Moss, seventh grader. Great job, Michael. Next we have Anthony Terrence, seventh grader. Good job, keep up good work. You can do it. All right, and I have a young eighth grader, Miss Brianna Long-Lewis. And I have the Queen Jordan Petway, sixth grader, representing for her team. Great job. You go, girl. We also have Ariana Blunt, sixth grader. Good job. Good work. All right. This week's character education word of the week is flexibility. Flexibility is the quality of showing adaptability and versatility. I know you guys probably did a wonderful job. Well, not probably, you did do a wonderful job last week or within the past two weeks showing flexibility when you had to change from face-to-face -to, -face to virtual. 
So this week, you can show some flexibility as you come back to the building. If something changes out of the blue, don't get defeated. Just adapt to whatever it is and still excel in your academics or, you know, if it's um, a change in a schedule or whatever it may be. Just show some flexibility. Mr. Kirkland. Thank you, Ms. Tate. Uh, this is time for our Did You Know segment. By the time you see this, September 11th would have passed. September 11th, 2001 was a series of four coordinated attacks by an extremist group called Al-Qaeda on America. Over a thousand people lost their lives. Please take time to research this subject as it changed the course of American history. Dr. Muhammad. All right, yes, yeah, students, keep that in mind. That is a significant event that impacted our country and the world. So please explore that information when you do have time. And also, parents and students, keep in mind we have a volleyball game coming up on Wednesday at 4 o'clock at Brubaker. Once again, support our girls at Brubaker, 4 o'clock volleyball game. Please, please show up for that. But hold on, we're not finished. The Rockets are still going because we're gonna soar over to Goodwin and play them in football on Thursday at 4.30. So please come on out and support our guys as we try to get our athletic program back on track. And we're gonna go over there and just take off and do all types of things to those Goodwin Bulldogs because they already know the Rocket way and what time it is. Woo! Getting me up. All right. Getting me excited today. Uh, but listen, students, always keep this in mind. Don't ever let another person dream bigger dreams than you dream for yourself. And also, don't just be excellent. Be phenomenal. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Wake up, Southland.